We are back with Inspector Planet, Dr. Tracy Fanara, who is, of course, part of our community and someone who really is looking to impart some knowledge about the environment on kids, adults, all of us, right? Of course. And one of the ways you've been able to do that is through comic books. Yeah. And this one, Seekers of Science, is pretty special. A comic writer came up to me and my friend from Mythbusters and said, we want to you know, make a comic, are you guys down? And we're like, heck yeah, who doesn't want to be in a comic book? And the amazing part about Seekers of Science is that not only does it use creativity and art to reach a broad demographic, but also it's like what I want my real life to be like. Right. Because you can make anything happen in a comic. Yeah. So everybody wants to graduate school and use principles of science to solve environmental problems. And it sounds so much easier than it actually is. Well, in a comic book, that can be true. And then you were actually a Marvel comic first before this one, yes, right? Yes, yeah. Your, Unstoppable Wasp. I am an agent of girl. Oh, yeah, nice. geniuses in research labs. And you mentioned Mythbusters. She was on Mythbusters where she was using all of her science background to do some pretty amazing experiments. And you're going to help us be seekers of science today. Yes. So in this episode, we clean water because it's an oil spill. In our experiment today, we're cleaning water just because it's dirty. Okay. Basically, let's... I want to show the difference between how we have historically approached land development and how we should and how things work in a water treatment lab okay. what you can do right at your own home as well so we have this dirty water super dirty, dirty water, yeah. water yeah and we have yep coffee filter coffee filter everybody's got in it in here little hole on the bottom this was just I went into somebody else's trash and used that. Recycling, upcycling. Yep, upcycling. Okay, I'll hold. So what is, so you're using a gravel, but this could be... Yeah, so... Like, as in, you know, in the, so in the, here is a sand, and it's kind of like the sand that we have throughout Florida, and just like an inch of sand. Um, and basically what our natural environment does is, is treat water by chemically, biologically, and physically removing pollutants, just like it does in a water treatment plant. Now we're going to add activated carbon. We're going to add activated carbon because it's really good at moving, removing pollutants. And this is the stuff that you find in a Brita filter. And that's okay. why I'm always encouraging people to use Brita instead of bottled water. All the water has less regulations than our tap water does. And then last, we're going to add alum. It is a flocculant, so it can take uh, small particles and pollutants attached to those particles and settle them out. I'm just going to add a little. at the grocery store. You can. Awesome. <laughs> yep. It's used in cooking as well. So now we pray. Okay. <laughs> we're going to clean this water. We're going to clean this water, hopefully. So it goes through the activated carbon, it goes yep. through the alum, it goes through the gravel. Yep. Something like what would happen at a water, water treatment plant. Yeah. Or even in your backyard if you use low impact development design strategies. Now you wouldn't want to use this activated carbon, but there are other filter medias that aren't exhausted as quickly that you can use right in your backyard. And so we'll let that, we'll let that filter out. But I just wanted to show you the difference between when we actually let our rainwater go into our lawn and be infiltrated through our natural systems compared to when we put concrete on the ground. Okay. I mean, you could probably guess what's going right. to happen it's here. Not, not, it's not going right. to go through anything. Right. So this is, this is not concrete, but it's the closest thing that I could find in my house. So, obviously, Still that's, how, that's yeah. going into our natural water bodies. And this is a natural sample of water, so it's got bacteria and particulates and fertilizer and dog poop, whatever yeah. else is in there. And if, that's if going to our and on concrete, it just goes straight into our uh, water system. But this, because if you built your home and your subdivision with these kind of things. Yeah, so all you need to do right at your own home is disconnect your impervious surface. So taking that water that's on your roof, putting it through a downspout or a cistern and releasing it into a rain garden or infiltration trench or getting pervious pavers or something like that that actually treats the water before it goes into our natural water bodies. Those are all wonderful things. Dr. Tracy Fanar, who is not only a seeker of science, but she is Inspector Planet. And look at that clean water. Now, ultimately, you would want tertiary treatment in a water treatment plant that kills bacteria, but 